Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Laron. We back with another video. You see the thumbnail? You see the video's about? So let's get straight into it. So uh, I think the closing arguments and everything like that happened with the Cal Rittenhouse case. And I know, you know, a lot of us, for whatever reason, I still do not understand. You know, people been DMing me and texting me saying this is why we should care about this case, and I really don't get it why black people care about this case so much. But I know that we care about this case. So I want to say this: when the verdict come out that He's innocent or not guilty, whatever, on the murder charges and shooting, the, you know, the people charges, whatever. Let's not tear up the city. Let's not go protest. Let's not get so emotionally involved in this. Let's just realize that this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. And it should have been something different in my opinion. It should have been something different because I know we still invested into that moment when things are happening, but now hindsight is 2020, I think we should realize, like, listen, he probably was more of an ally than he was an enemy. And let me, let me explain before you get mad and get me, get at me in the comments. He was more of an ally because when all this stuff was going on, um, a lot of white people took it upon themselves to like damage the city, um, break stuff, all this anarchy. And that wasn't us. You know what I'm saying? It was these random white people coming out here doing it. And some black people seen the white people doing it and they was like, all right, let's join in. Let's, let's join in, they with us. That's what we felt like, right? And now we look back and supposed to be like, you know what? They wasn't with us. They was using our trauma and our pain just to cause havoc amongst the city. And now that we see that, we should see somebody that took two of them out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look. I mean, that's how I look at it. Like, you know, you using our trauma and our pain of what we going through in this country just to tear up a city. It's just to tear up a city. And if I have to take a side, that's the side I'm taking. I'm taking the side of, hey, Jesus, you know what? You shot up the, you tear up the city, you come here with a van full of bricks, you know what I'm saying? You come with a van full of all types of stuff and breaking windows and you go back to your homes, you going back to whatever, you you know, you take, you wash a color dye out your hair and you go back to work, your nice job just to have some fun. That's how I look at it. And a lot of people are doing that in our trauma. And you know what? They put that on black people saying that, look how these cities are burning down. Look how these people are rioting and looting. It really wasn't us. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't us. We were the ones that were trying to tell people to stop doing that. But those people were kept doing that. And Kyle Rittenhouse got met by three of those people that were doing that. Matter of fact, I can say two. Definitely the first guy he shot. And this is, this is crazy to me that people are really caping up for this first guy they shot. If you guys see what this guy was about, you know what I'm saying? Um, first, he was a convicted rapist. You know what I'm saying? He used to date women who had single, single parent women who had boys as their child, and he used to try to molest the boys, and he got convicted for that, right? Just got out of jail. Then there's a video clip of him right before the shooting screaming out, shoot me, in word shoot me shoot me around a whole bunch of people including black people and nobody pressed this dude then uh he tried to take it to Kyle Rittenhouse and he shot him you know so he shot him so we're em empathizing or having empathy for a white dude using the n-word loosely you know what I'm saying and talking about shoot me n-word shoot me and also a white dude going to a black lives matter rally using our trauma to cause havoc so that's the first person he shot the second person he shot uh hit him with a skateboard i don't know why he was running but he hit him with a skateboard i don't know too much about that dude i'm not going to speak too much about the dude but that's the second person he shot and the third person he shot was the medic that came with the gun and he shot the medic you know what I'm saying and according to kyle Rittenhouse, he was there as a medic too so they both had guns they both was in the same playing field so you say one shouldn't have been there with a gun the other shouldn't have been there with a gun but anyway Let's not get up in arms about this. Let's not get all emotionally attached to this. Let's not be like, oh, I can't go to work. You know how it goes. Let's not like look at white people funny, thinking that white people got one over on us. You know, each person that got shot was a, a white uh, victim or a suspe suspect, whatever you want to call them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the courts are saying, but just for the argument's sake, we're going to say the white, they're all white victims that got shot by this dude. You know, this is basically white on white crime. This is my first time seeing a lot of black people up in arms about this white and white crime. In my opinion, they should just leave it alone. 
we should just leave it alone. You know, we have our own issues. We have a lot going on here in Atlanta, New York City, Chicago, St. Louis, LA, you know what I'm saying? Um, just all over the country. We have a lot of issues going all over the country. And this thing with Kyle Rittenhouse is not something that we should be concerned about. But that's just my thoughts on the man. Let me know how you feel about that. Um, let me know also if you are emotionally attached to it and why. Because I'm really trying to figure out why people are emotionally attached to this case. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. But that's my thoughts on the man. I appreciate your time. Until next time, peace.